Hey everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to 35mm. We're going to go ahead and just jump back in in just a second here. But before we do, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this. I could go ahead and play it for you on the channel. Let's go ahead and jump back in. We'll see you guys back in just a sec. Bucket. Bucket! We got a bucket. Okay. It was in neither place that it said it would be. So I got a bucket. That was very frustrating. <laughs> It wasn't in a shed and it wasn't in the brick building. It was actually inside of a stove. But now we got a bucket. Now we got a bucket. <laughs> Buckets. Ah! I have never wanted a bucket so badly. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, I can open this. I attach my bucket. Got it. Don't love that I have to stand. Water. Make me feel a little nervous. Okay. Well, let's head back to our bear killing friend. We can't believe our friend killed the bear and we're just supposed to believe that. Something has to. It's nice. Can I? Did you get it? Sure did. You should probably boil it, right? Ah, there we go. Down. Okay. Where should I sit? Right here? Sweet. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous. Ну что, вздрогнем? Cheers. Yeah, cheers to our buddy. Ooh. Ровной дороги нам. Oh, let's Петрович. have a good trip, Petrovic. <laughs> Trovic? Petrovic? I feel like an idiot. I don't know how to say anything. Idiom, Petrovic. Come on, Petrovic. I think that's how you say it. I mean, that's how he just said it, so I think that should count. Um, just in case, though, don't you think we should maybe take some stuff with us? I mean, I just make sure. No. God, some of the angles that show in this game are so creepy. So my name is Petrovic, but what's his then? What's your name? Города, города доберемся. Get to the city soon. Cool, Hank. As we will. I seriously cannot remember the name that was in the hospital now. Was it? No, it wasn't Petrovic. It was something else. It was Nikolov. Are you Nikolov? What if you're my friend? That would be cool. And I would actually have a name for you that wasn't Hank. I really enjoy how much of this game is just like up to me what I want to do and what I want to look at and there's things that I can really explore I really appreciate that 
But I do kind of wish that there was more reason for exploring, if that makes sense. Is this getting like weirdly... That's interesting. I'll notice that it got a little like... blurry when we got there, as if we were having like a memory or something. Probably just because we came out, right? Okay. No, we definitely have like some weird dizzy thing over here. Okay, I'm going towards it. Hey. Is it because of Jesus? You guys are seeing that, right? Like how it looks just a little bit different? It's like extra third weird okay well nothing happens hmm if we maybe just for the fuck of it let's go this way i could just be seeing it too maybe i just didn't notice it when it was darker but it really feels like like it's gonna go into a memory or something but i guess not It's kind of hard to not want to just explore every part of this. Here. I'm going to for now assume that he is Nikolov. That he is like the friend we made in the hospital when we woke up. And if he's Nikolov, then cool. That's what I'm going to call him for. Why he doesn't want to stop and... Oh shit! Whoa! That's why he doesn't want to stop and look in these. Holy shit. How would I have known? My question. There's no one in here. What am I doing? Hey. Okay. Just make sure nothing explodes before we walk in. Slightly fucked up. Then I may have. Hmm. Find anything. Oh, I wonder if that that's why it's blurry because we were injured. Okay. When we fell, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But I did see something in the settings to turn on and off the Ooh, that allowed us to turn off you know, the wounds impacting us. So I wonder if maybe that's what happened. I reckon I should probably use that health kit. I'm looking a little worse for wear. But I also want to go into every one of these houses. I would break the door if I had it. I'm gonna be honest, I would like to have an axe. That would not be a bad idea. There isn't one here, but there's one. I just feel... Didn't you see anything that at night? There's a fireplace that is still smoldering. No, I didn't. I... Someone was here recently. It'd be good to check that. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Here, can I use the first aid kit or something? No? I wonder how I use first aid. Because I've got a first aid kit. I remember it. Is 
the one I already went into? So I don't have a first aid kit? I just thought I did. I remember picking one up originally, but maybe we used it already? Used it. Walking into anything again? Ah, creepy head. Where's the creepy head? Something sinister. You mean the deer? There's nothing sinister about deer slash moose slash elk head. Critters are our friends. The first aid. Right with my telephone. Since the beginning of the events, my life changed dramatically. I was lucky that the disease did not affect me, but there are still a bunch of problems. Living here is definitely easier than in the city. Subsistence farming helps greatly. Because now I can't go to the store to buy potatoes with meat, can't taste any cold beer. The marauders are a pest, traveling from place to place, robbing travelers, stopping at nothing. Must have completely lost their conscience and honor. Sooner or later, I will have to get out of here. A little figure back there. Oh boy. Man, it would be so nice right now to be have Friend, I'm gonna miss wherever this axe is. I know there has to be one around here. Wouldn't tell me to use an axe. Break the door. Yeah, well, let's get this axe. There's a farm. I suppose the one nice thing about an apocalypse would be that you don't have to keep up with anyone anymore. Everyone else around you can have whatever they want. It won't affect you. Doesn't matter how big your TV is, if it's a... Uh, Better roll apocalypse. This door is open. I am hurting. Jeez. Okay. We been in here. Yeah. Better. It's just identical to the other house. Very simple. We use a first. There shouldn't be anything on the radio. Interesting. Could there be something on the radio? Unless it's like a survivor. Playing records or something, all outside. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, I I can't use it though. Unless is this? Oh, was that first aid kit? Oh my god, this whole time <laughs> that was the first aid kit. Oh shit, I could have done that so much earlier. Okay. Well, you know what? That worked. <laughs> so we do look better now. Let's, I guess, keep go. Oh, that's our guy. He scared me. Yeah, I know, I know. Scared me for a second, bro. 
Wait a minute. What's going on over there? With the sun? Feels a little creepy. I'll check the house, but I gotta be honest with you. I really want an axe. <laughs> I want an axe. For so many reasons. First of all, I need one. Second of all... Oh shit, yeah. Fuck you! Axe! Give me the axe, what? Oh, there we go. Whew. Why did it slow down? What's going on? Grandmother Lisa is getting worse every day. We are thinking a lot how to ease her pain. But we couldn't do it, just lacked the courage. We boarded up the windows, barricaded the door, and left her there. If you're reading this, be careful. Boarded up the doors and left her. We must be careful. Did they turn into zombies? Is that what I'm supposed to take away from that? Just a random door. We have an axe now. You gonna tell him? Just gonna... Stay right on. 